This instructional video has been prepared to show the activities related to a trumpet valve cam adjustment on the Zenith Thompson table. Uh, tooling required uh, starting from the left. L wrench supplied with the table. Phillips screwdriver. 10,000 shim. 1 8 inch Allen wrench. T Allen wrench. All right, to start the job, we're going to go ahead and uh, raise the uh, high low uh, to the highest point. Zip the table, zero energy potential. Uh, in that case, uh, unplug the table from the wall so that there's absolutely no power uh, going into the table. Uh, next step is we're going to take the uh, pelvic cushion and lower the pelvic cushion to the lowest point to provide clearance uh, to this area in here. Following that, we'll take the L-shaped wrench uh, that's supplied with the table, and we're going to go ahead and loosen the two set screws beneath the lumbar cushion so that we can remove this plate from the drop stem. Next, we have uh, five Phillips head screws that are holding the penthouse cover in place. We have three on the top, we have two on the bottom, and we're going to go ahead and remove those screws so that we can access the area uh, beneath the penthouse cover. First step we want to do is to examine the correct positioning of the index wheel. That can uh, easily and visually be accomplished uh, by setting to any index position and we'll see that the letter in that case is running vertical and um, parallel to this surface uh, right here. Okay. So if the index wheel was out of calibration we would see something like this. In calibration, we're seeing that every letter on the index wheel is pointing directly vertical and also parallel to that surface there. Okay. All right, the index wheel is going to be set to dorsal, and at dorsal, We'll be looking at the dorsal valve is open. How do we know it's open? That valve is fully depressed. The lumbar valve is going to be closed. How do we know it's closed? Uh, the valve is not depressed at all. And the pelvic is also closed. How are we going to verify that those valves are closed? We're going to take our 10 thousandths feeler gauge. And we're going to place that between the trumpet valve and the cam, and we have free movement in that case. We can demonstrate that uh, if we try to put the feeler gauge between the dorsal uh, valve, it will not fit. In that case, that is validation that that valve is open and there's air flowing through it. Next, we'll move on to the lumbar setting. At the lumbar setting, we have the dorsal valve is closed, the lumbar valve is now open, and the pelvic valve is closed. We want to verify that those valves are, in fact, closed for pelvic feeler gauge. Plainly goes through. Lumbar will not fit. That valve is open, and the dorsal feeler gauge goes through. That valve is closed. Next, we'll move to the pelvic setting. At the pelvic setting, the dorsal valve is closed, the lumbar valve is closed, and the pelvic valve is open. Let's verify that the lumbar valve is closed. Again, place our feeler gauge between the cam and the top of the trumpet valve, move smoothly through. Dorsal, smoothly through and the pelvic is open and that feeler gauge will not move through. Okay? That's good, that's correct setting. 
Next, we're going to go to the lumbar pelvic setting, LP. At LP, the dorsal valve is closed. Lumbar valve is open. Pelvic valve is open. Let's verify that we've got free clearance on the dorsal valve with our feeler gauge. And it moves cleanly through. Lumbar and pelvic are open and the feeler gauge will not move through in that case and that's a correct setting. Finally we'll go to the DL dorsal lumbar setting and uh, at DL we have the uh, dorsal valve that's open, the lumbar valve is open and the pelvic valve is closed. We'll take our feeler gauge and verify that we've got gap between the cam and the top of the trumpet valve and we do that verifies that the pelvic valve is closed we try to use the feeler gauge on lumbar or dorsal it will not go through that's verifying that we've got good contact between the cam uh, and the trumpet valve to open those valves and have air move through to those drops that concludes the test of the um, trumpet valves. All right, we've established a fault condition here uh, to show how we can go ahead and adjust the cam in relation to the trumpet valve. Uh, number one, we have set the index wheel to LP. Uh, for a setting of LP, we would expect that the uh, pelvic valve will be open. You can see, fully depressed. The lumbar valve will be open, fully depressed, and the dorsal valve should be closed. We know that this is a fault condition on the dorsal valve because it's not closed. How do we know that? We cannot put our feeler gauge between the cam and the trumpet valve. What we'll do now is show the activity necessary to adjust uh, any, any cam in relation to the trumpet valve under a fault condition. We'll take our eighth inch T-handle, Allen wrench, and we'll go ahead and loosen the set screw on the cam. We'll now move that cam out of the way of the trumpet valve, and we can see in this particular case now we can see some daylight or some gap between those two surfaces, the trumpet valve and the cam, but we're going to verify that we've got correct gap. We're going to take our 15 thousandths feeler gauge, we're going to place that in there, and we're going to go ahead and move the cam in contact with the feeler gauge, and we're going to go ahead and tighten that set screw. We're going to exit the area, and we now have good gap uh, between the cam and the um, trumpet valve. So, in this case, under the condition of LP, we now see that the pelvic valve is open, fully depressed. Lumbar valve is open, fully depressed, and we have corrected the um, problem on the dorsal valve by now closing that valve using the 15,000th feeler gauge. And that completes the activities necessary to do this job. To reveal the set screw on the dorsal cam, turn the indicator on the side to LP, which exposes the set screw for the dorsal cam on top. To reveal the lumbar cam set screw, Turn the knob to the letter D on the side of the table. The letter D on the selector will expose the set screw on top. For the pelvic set screw, turn the setting on the knob to the letter L on the selector dial.